Well, I gotta let my lungs uh, filter out from all that carbon dioxide I just sucked in because I'm an idiot. <laughs> and uh, wood smoke and all that good stuff. But I got to think about haters. A lot of a lot of us out there has got haters, especially the, the honest people and the people who are just brutally honest, especially myself. But you know, the best way to deal with haters is is to just kill them with kindness. Tell them, have a nice day. Guys, Double A's back here again, live and in person. Uh, boy, what a day. My heart has been troubled since yesterday. I got some bad news I'm really concerned about, but um, no, I'm just going to keep praying. So, um, yeah, we got to get this uh, anvil stand trued up and uh, decorated out, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that with a chainsaw. Okay, so, I know you're probably asking, what do I mean by trued up? Well, I used, to cut these, six by sixes, I used a uh, seven and a quarter saw. That won't go all the way through, as you can see. There's a little square that I had to use a saw to cut the rest of the way out. But, <laughs> my saw is very old and it's been dropped a few times. So the fence on it isn't completely accurate. So, um, I wouldn't be able to stay exactly in line, which is why I got that effect. Some people can do it, like, awesomely, and I can't do it awesomely. But, anyhow, so, um... What I need to do is just shave this down, both top and bottom. I mean, it doesn't really move anywhere. You see it's got a little bit of rock to it, but it's not bad. But I want to true it up um, so that I can set it level and, and all that good stuff and know that my anvil is going to be level and plumb and all that good stuff. So I'll show you how I am going to do this with a chainsaw, being I don't have a sawzall blade long enough to do that. All right, so I'm going to do exactly what I didn't show you in the last video is how to cut these. Um, basically, I'm going to put my, this is a big 12 inch speed square I used to use in framing, but I'm going to put that on the edge there, and I'm going to find the lowest spot there. Actually, you know what, let's do one a little bit better than that. Let's use our speed square, and let's measure down, uh, how about a quarter inch, right here. And we'll take a quarter inch off of this. There we are. <clears throat> All right, so I am going to mark this line out. I thought she went with an eighth inch, but that's okay. Mark that line out good. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the exact opposite side. Okay, now I'm going to take two straight edges, which is going to be in the form of probably two or four, so straightest edge I can find, and I'm going to put it on either side. And I'm going to extend it a little past here and a little past here. And that is going to be my guide for my chainsaw blade. So give me a minute and we'll get that done. All right. And that's what it should look like. We should have roughly a quarter inch here and a quarter inch here. If we lay our bar across there. We should get a good clean cut. All right. We'll let it warm up. Get back out here and cut it here in a minute. Okay. Number two. Come on, fan. Get that out of here. Maybe I should have did this outside. Safety first. All right, so I've got basically a, a flat surface there, sort of, basically. Yeah. So I'll take the belt sander. <laughs> rest of it. I gotta get out of here. Holy cow! <laughs> Look at the smoke in there. <laughs> Maybe I should call this clueless adventurer. <laughs> Yeah, if Mr. Gunnel was here, I'd be really getting my butt chewed right now. I can tell you how many times I've gotten a message from him about taking care of myself and doing the right thing and setting the right example and all that, but, uh, yeah, no. Yeah. Anyhow. Yep, this is me currently in the truck heading back to the house. Why? Because life happened. Um, I was on the way to pick my oldest daughter up, and she turned around and called me, and she said, no, don't come pick me up. 
my uh, boyfriend's mom's going to come pick me up. So now I'm heading back to the house. Um, yeah. So let me get back to the house and we'll continue on. All right, well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, the other 62 genders that are out there that I have no clue what they are. It's uh, it's partially done. <laughs> because the incident happened earlier, short on time, and I need to get some things worked on. Um, I'll try to dress it up as we go along. Right now, it's just held in place by a couple of uh, wood screws and a couple of blocks. Um, so, now it sits right uh, crotch level. So, yep. That should help. It already feels good stepping up to it. Like, hey, I'm about to, I'm about to whip something out. No, no, uh, I'm about to, I'm about to hammer something, forge something out. All right, so I'm going to kick the forge on. I'm going to do things a little bit different. I have shown y'all guys everything that I do from the beginning. I'm going to go ahead and show you this, um, so that y'all can see where I make my mistakes, so that you don't make the same mistakes, and that the other people can comment and say, hey, you're doing this wrong, or, uh, you know. All that. So, that is currently about a half an inch thick. Uh, I didn't mention this, guys, but this started out in a trapezoid. I don't... Give me that. Yeah, I squared it up already, but it, it was actually... Or rectangled it up already. It was a, a, a trapezoid. So, and I need to thin this out, especially right here. This right here, I'll probably round some more. I might thin it out, but this, I need to define these shoulders, and I'm starting to get a fish mouth there. So, I need to be careful with that, because I don't want to get a cold shot in this. Um, although it'd probably be easy to, to grind that out right there, but anyhow, I need to thin this down really, 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 really thin, like a sixteenth of an inch. Because a sixteenth, I'll probably wind up splitting the crap because I really have no clue what I'm doing. But I'm going for gold, baby, going for gold. Yeah. So anyhow, let me get this fired up and um, I'll get back with you. Damn, man, she's pretty out. What a bitch. I, I was selling him, he's a stupid little bitch. Okay. Excuse me while I embarrass myself. Alright, so constructive criticism is allowed, but don't take it too far. I will find where you live and come pick your dog. Go for that last hit and screw it up, buddy. Watch the comment section. They're going to tell you everything I'm doing wrong here. Alright, I need to get it moved out this way. I'm doing fine because I can push it that way. I've got to try to come back this way. So I guess I need to angle my hammer back this way. So I'm going to try to draw it back this way maybe. I don't know. Camera likes to twist in my hand. And it is catching the edge of it versus a flat hit. Hit the record button. I did get it start moving back that way, so what I was doing was I was taking the cross beam and I was digging back this way with it. I don't know if that's right guys. Uh, any corrections that y'all are gonna make to me, please put the time at which your correcting whatever you're correcting so that I could go back to that particular time and, and read it and look at it. Alright, so it's getting close to the thinness that I kind of wanted that, so I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't be using the... Oh no, I miss it! I got a ding right there. I'm 
guessing I should be using the cross pin because I don't want it to split it, and I'm thinking it will, being it's getting so thin. Of course, working it cold will do the same thing. All right, we're going again. Don't forget, guys, we got guys quite might have some people watching it. Trying to learn something, they're just not saying anything because they don't want to sound stupid or something. So, you know, by all means, point out the problems and the issues. with what I'm doing. It's so amazing when it gets to a lower heat you give them white taps. And it really starts taking some of that stuff out of it. And I also know I don't want to work it too cold. It's getting pretty thin there. Alright, I thought I was recording on that last week and I was Go into this more, more. So uh, I'm getting the bevel like I wanted it. I'm flipping it upside down and holding it in an angle right there on that bevel of my handle. And I'm scared to death that this is got to crack on me. But there's some dirt still yet in the middle. Before you say it, I know I need to work on hammer control. I don't know if I've said it or not, this new anvil height is like awesome, man, because it's going to be getting better. But I think well, I screwed myself because I got so used to being the top of the anvil being you know, way down here. And I'm bending over, so I'm getting used to having to hold that hammer back and try to get a flat blow. But now that I'm able to stand up tall, I'm catching it like this. Because normally I'd be down like this. See, it's a flat, so I kind of screwed myself. I guess so. I've got to relearn my, my muscle memory. So I'm hitting and pushing at the same time and trying to, I guess, stretch that metal out. I don't know if that's right, guys. That's about. All I'm going to get out of it, I'm close to a sixteenth of an inch thick. Um, I got it down pretty thin. I haven't really... I don't think I have any traction, so I'm going to work on dressing it down nice and easy. Try to get this handle back straight. And uh, maybe it'll make a decent hamburger flipper. Oh, look at there. Y'all see that? Right there. I might grind that out. You know, I've noticed there's not a whole lot of videos about thin metal, real thin like this. It would be nice if somebody who really knew what they were doing would do that. Yeah, my blower set on the low setting. I'm about to grab that. You see that? It's not bad, bad. It could be better. It's pretty flat, pretty straight. It's not really twisted. Uh, like I said, I think it'd be decent as a maybe a silver dollar pancake flipper. But we went from half inch thick to uh, I think that's about a sixteenth. Um, right now, I'm not seeing any type of cracks I managed to escape that and I think that's mainly keeping it hot but not too hot 
I thought I saw a cold shot in it earlier. I won't be able to tell until I grind some of this out though. All right, so I got it off this piece of half inch plate. I zeroed it in the wrong place. I am going to see exactly what it was. As you can see, it's right at a right half inch, a little over, probably because of oxidation on it. And so we have gone from half inch to uh, 0 0.09. Uh, I'm not sure what 0 0.09 is. Uh, in millimeters, it is uh, about 2 millimeters, about 2.5 millimeters. It's 16 millimeters. So we're from 16 mil to 2 mil is uh, what we've gone. So. That's pretty decent in and out. And, uh, I know this needs to be hardened so it won't burn, but I'm not sure how to do it. I'm thinking oil hardening. But I think the hardening needs to happen after it's been dressed up, filed up, all that good gravy stuff. So, all right, guys, it's, uh, it's your turn. I've talked enough. I've done enough. We're just going to say this is going to be a uh, little small pancake flipper. I am going to have to dress it up some. And there is some hammer dings there. Uh, a nice rounding hammer would have been freaking awesome, but I don't have one. I ordered one, but that's where it is. It started out as half inch thick. Um, it wasn't even, but I don't know, five or six inches. So we've gotten it to uh, seven, 14, um, say almost 20 inches long rounded out started out as a trapezoid tell me what i need to do different stop hitting my anvil for one jesus hope you guys enjoyed that um this is day number seven as a beginning uh now let me go ahead and give you a full disclaimer on this i have been studying this art i've been fascinated with this art since i was little my father told me it was a dead art I never really got into trying it, but as far as uh, studying it, once I realized that it was a big thing, and the big movement happened in the 70s, and I'm like, man, I, it was coming back when my father said it was a dead art, but um, I've been watching YouTube videos, and this and that, and that and this, and testing little things here and there, in the, out of my foundry for two years, okay, as far as full-on drawing out and flattening and rounding and stuff like that. I've never really done it. I have, but I haven't. So this is what you're seeing from that product of two years of watching, listening, studying, and then just jumping into it. Um, so that's, that's where it's at right now. I wanted this in here to be, I don't know, good fat whip. I didn't get as much width out of it as I wish I did, and uh, I didn't get as much length. And I think the width is because it just wasn't wide enough. I probably should have started out with a wider piece um, and tortured myself extremely with the handle. But, anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, pay attention to the comments. I am going to be probably criticized. I don't know if I'll be criticized, but and I'll be taught. I'll be said, hey... This time, when you were doing this, you should have done this a little bit different. Maybe did that a little bit different. Um, probably going to tell me I need a better hammer. I need to do something with the handle. It's so slick. Um, yes, my anvil's twisting on me. Um, but it's a perfect height now. So I wish I would have had it that height when I was drawing out. Probably would have went a lot better because this went so much quicker. Um, and that's about it. Smile today if you haven't smiled. Life's worth living. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Laters.